In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Well, it was sometime mid-Sunday afternoon that a spokesman for British Petroleum, BP, issued a public statement saying that the Deepwater Horizon oil well that had been leaking out of control since April 20th of this year until about mid-July when a temporary patch was put on it, it was officially declared plugged. I think they used the word dead. They had pumped enough concrete down deep over a mile below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico to officially declare the well and that problem solved. Well, it's far from solved, as you and I both know. BP has already spent all, almost $10, million, $10 billion on damages, trying to reclaim the oil, contain the spill. It has set aside in escrow another $20 billion that will be used to settle future lawsuits and legal claims. We know that there are very sensitive very beautiful parts of the Gulf of Mexico that have been damaged and will take years to recover and for the beauty to be reclaimed. However, I hope and pray that you and I both learn something from this mishap, that we remember the work in cleaning and reclaiming that beautiful place in the world is far from over. We also have to keep in mind that it is our dependence on oil, our addiction to oil in fact, that is leading the oil industry to look for oil in more dangerous places. Let us hope that this devastating accident in the Gulf of Mexico isn't just the first of many that you and my grandchildren will have to live through in their lifetimes. But we take hope from the fact that that problem is solved. And I ask you today, and maybe you might take a moment in class at the end of these announcements, perhaps to answer this question. If you could solve another problem in the world today, what would you solve? What would Jesus want us to tackle today? Is there something that we can do to make the world a better place. This morning, I would like to just light a match. Let a little fire burn in your heart. Is there something that you care about? Is there something that you are passionate about? Let's start thinking today. Today is the International Day of Peace declared by the United Nations. On this date, September the 21st, which is also the last day of the summer, historically was the first day that the United Nations would meet each year. On this date, the peace bell is rung in the United Nations. And the peace bell is made up of, I don't want to burn my finger, the peace bell is made up of coins that children sent from around the world. Those coins were melted and cast into a bell. And it's rung at the United Nations so that everyone who hears about it might commit themselves, at least for this day, for peace. So what do you care about? Light a fire. Let's solve some other problems in the world. And let's remember that the work of solving the world's problems isn't easy. The big problems can't be solved overnight. Some of these problems took centuries to uh, develop. Let's pray for the Holy Spirit to guide us and give us the will to do the real hard work. And glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, the students from Miss Premier's religion class going on retreat today, we'll meet at the end of these announcements. So stay and listen to the announcements, and we'll meet in the cafeteria before we begin our day. Have a great day, St. Paul.
Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Tamara Sistan, and here are your morning announcements. Do you like shopping? Would you like to save some money on your purchases? Then why not get an SPC card and save on purchases made at dozens of your favorite stores? Plus, get a 10% discount card to use with your new SPC card. Get your card here at St. Paul for $9 each. That means you save the taxes and you help out your school at the same time. Cards can be purchased directly from Ms. Calderelli during 3A lunch in room 225 and during 3C lunch in room 205. Please see the poster on the student council board in the cafeteria. If there are any grade 9 students interested in joining student council, please pick up an application form outside room 205 and return it to Ms. Calderelli in room 225 or 205 by Monday. Ignore the due date at the bottom of the form. All students who have received an invitation to the award ceremony should should bring in their forms by this Friday. If there is no response, then they should bring in their forms to Ms. Vela. If there is no response, then you are going to be, you're going to, you're not going to, sorry, sorry, St. Paul. Then if you do not bring your response in, then it's going to, we're going to think that you are not attending. And now time for sports. Congratulations to the senior boys volleyball team for their fifth place finish in the 2014 McMaster University Invitational Tournament last Friday and Saturday. The coaches are looking forward to a successful season as the team is looking strong going into the start of the league play. The first game is on Tuesday, the second half of a doubleheader against Mentor College following the junior game. Come out and support athletics at St. Paul and come to cheer on your teams. The next practice for the senior team is tomorrow morning at 645 sharp. St. Paul golfers should be released at 12.30 today and meet in the office for their game at Lakeview Golf Club this afternoon. The following students should meet Ms. Schlarp in the gym at 12.30. Brandon Cantina, Matthew Whedon, Kyle McDonald, Sawyer Bloom, Ryan Daly, and Michael Sawyer. And now a word from Mr. Schmidt. Give me the verbal countdown. It was the song of the day, Dynamite by Tyle Cruz. Okay. A very good morning to the St. Paul community. I want to use this opportunity to make some remarks about an upcoming event that I consider very, very important at St. Paul. A week this Thursday is the awards breakfast. And the awards breakfast honors students who last year exceeded in many respects what our expectations are in a number of courses and have earned academic awards. Now, academic awards are important because it does indicate that not only have students taken our motto, everything to heart, to heart, but have also done well in their respective courses, and that we honor each year at St. Paul's with an awards breakfast. And those students will be receiving indications of who you are if you haven't received the invitations already. So I really want to thank all of those students and encourage all students because at this point in our academic lives, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day what we get, but it's how hard we work because we can be the smartest guys in the room and still bring disaster upon ourselves if we're not putting effort into what we do both in our courses and in virtually every other aspect of our lives. So you're going to hear a lot about me, you're going to hear a lot from me about effort and reward. And that's really important from my perspective. Now, I will not be giving out any awards for the little goon show that occurred yesterday at the end of the day with a few students bringing our school's reputation into disrepute. I did receive a couple of calls um, with respect to the carryings on after school down at the Busy Bee. Now, uh, I have informed our NPU officer and virtually every other 
officer in the Peel Regional who wants to know that from my perspective, they can go to town with any kinds of charges that they want if they find students in any way misbehaving or bringing our community into disrepute. I want to emphasize that this was a minority of students as it always is, but the clown show will end sooner rather than later. With that in mind, let's make Tuesday a banner day. The song of the day is Dynamite by Teo Cruz. Have a fantastic day.